In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a self-assignable role menu with the roles that stack. Basically, that all the roles that you select from the menu, you can have them all instead of just like one from the menu, as I showed you in the color menu video. First of all, we need the Yak PDB bot. Let's go ahead and invite it. Uh, Yak PDB, you should have it right here, Yak PDB. And let's go to control panel. And we need to invite the bot. They have this crazy um, thing now. Yeah, administrator, authorize. And then like a setup thing. Okay, so once you go through all of that and you're in the dashboard, let's go to tools and utilities. And now let's go to role commands. In role commands, we need to create first a group. Let's call this um, superheroes roles. All right, superhero roles, right? And here where it says mode, we can leave it as standard. If you want to set a specific amount, you can do multiple, and then you can select minimum number of roles and then a maximum number of roles. So we just want it standard. We just want you to click and get a role, click and get a role, click and get a role, that's it. So basically we can just click save and now we have our superhero roles group created here at the top, as you can see. You need to make sure that you have the top selected superhero roles. And now let's go ahead and create new role commands. But before we do so, we need to create the actual roles. So let's go back to our server. Let's go to server settings and create this role. I'm gonna speed run through this because you know, it's actually not that hard. All right, so now that we have a few roles, we have one, two, one, two, three, four, five. We have five roles. And this has to be in black, man. There we go. So now that we have a few roles, let's go ahead and go back to our Yak PDB role menu. So I'm gonna click out. So I need to refresh so that Yak PDB actually recognizes all the roles. And yeah, so I have all the roles right here. I'm going to create a new role command. Basically, it's just gonna be the name of the role and then you select the role right here. So Superman, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna select this Superman because it's there already and then create new role commands, right? And then the next one is gonna be Batman and then we select Batman and then we do create a new role command Then we select Flash. So basically, once you do that, then all the role commands are gonna show down here. There's nothing else for you to do. You can select the order in which they appear, which is completely um, irrelevant, right? But that was that, there's nothing else to do. So now let's go back to our Discord server and actually create the role menu. As I shown you in the previous video, there are two ways of doing this. You can make the bot create the role menu or you can actually make the menu appear in your personalized message. I will assume that most of you would like it to be on your personalized message. I'm just gonna jump into that, right? So I'm just gonna send the message, select your superhero, right? So I'm going to copy the message ID for this message. You need to have developer mode on in order for you to see the message ID for a specific message. Now let's go ahead and create the role menu. We need to do the command role menu create and then we need to type in the name of the group which is superhero roles. So superhero roles and we want to assign the menu to this message. So we're gonna do dash M, which means the message. And we're gonna paste the message ID, right click paste. And we're going to do no DM. No DM means that when the person gets a role, the bot is not going to send a message like, hey, I assigned you this role. That's annoying if you assign yourself several roles, you're gonna be getting several DMs. So that's it, let's go ahead and click send that message. Now the bot is going to ask us to select the emoji we want for the specific role. So what emoji do we want for Wonder Woman? I don't know, I don't have them. Um, I should get some custom, you know, custom emojis, I guess. That's it. I just added a few roles. Basically, the bot is telling you done setting up. You can delete this message now. So I'm going to delete this message and I'm going to also delete the, the you know, the command because it doesn't have to be there. 
and that's it we have our role menu now let's go ahead and bring in another user just you know so that you don't think it's like a thing that only works for the owner so i have this other user in the server professor alex and has no roles i'm gonna click on the wonder woman thing and now i should have the wonder woman role i'm gonna click on the batman thing and now i should have the batman role i'm gonna click on the bikini and now i should have the superman because you know he wears his underwear outside and then the flash and then all the roles so now i have all the roles assigned to my user if i uncheck one then the batman disappears if i uncheck this one i uncheck this one and uncheck this one you know they all disappear so now i have a bunch of roles that are completely useless but i'm pretty sure that you're going to find a use for it because you're very smart thank you very much for watching this video i hope you found it very helpful and please subscribe and like have a wonderful rest of the day my friends stay safe out there <laughs>